In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this fence manipulation using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys Droil here and as you can see this is the final output. Now before we start, to actually create this effect normally you need to do a photo shoot uh, with a tripod. You take photo of background then photo of model with a fence and then you do the masking etc. But this is a different approach like what if you already have a photo and then you wanna turn it into this effect. This video is more for that. So to create this uh, first of all let's open the background photo. You go to file, you go to open and you select whatever photo that you want to create the effect on. Now I don't need the entire photo and we have to crop it but we will do it later. First of all let's create a separate background and model. To do that let's unlock it. So double click and hit OK. After that I'm gonna make a copy of it so press command J. Now on this copy I'm gonna rename it to model and for the layer 0 I'm gonna rename it to background. Right now we don't need model layer so make sure you turn off the eye and only the background is active. After that you have to make sure you have selected your lasso tool from here and make a selection around model something like this. It doesn't have to be accurate but make sure that you don't uh, like you keep the model out of selection like this. So the selection is done after that you press shift delete both keys together and this box will pop up and here you select content aware and hit OK. It will take some time because like image is really high resolution so let it do its job. So as you can see Photoshop did its best uh, and I think it's OK. Uh, and let's remove the selection first. So you can go to select and deselect. Now at this moment even though it looks bad uh, because model with cover most of it, it won't look that bad so don't worry about it. Now uh, the background is ready and you can turn it off. Now activate the model and turn it on. Now we're gonna remove the model from the photo and to do that we need to make selection so you can right click here and get a quick selection tool and make selection of the model. And if you wish to remove some selection, you can go select this minus option here and then you can remove it like this. So the selection of model is ready. After that, let's apply the layer mask. So go and click on this third option here and it will apply the mask. Now you can turn on the background. So here's what happened. Model is on different layer and background is on different layer. Uh, this is exactly what we need. Now I'm gonna refine the selection. So make sure you activate the layer mask, then right click and select and mask. After that, uh, these portions are okay, but for the hair, we need to focus. So make your brush a little bit bigger using your bracket keys and make sure you have the second option here, the refine tool, and then you paint around the hair like this. Looking pretty good and after that you can hit OK. So the basic setup is ready and now we can add in the fence. But before that let's prepare a few things. First of all on the background activate it and make a copy. So command J. Now in, the, in this copy I'm gonna like rename it to more blurry background. Uh, it's important and for the model it's the same thing. You can press command J. Now on the original model layer here, you can rename it to backup. Now this I will explain later and this one is obvious. Like if you make mistakes on this layer while doing uh, further masking, you already have a selection ready so you can start again. Um, so that's clear. Now uh, I'm gonna add in the fence and do the cropping. So first of all, uh, let's add the fence. To add it, you can go to file and then place embedded. And here you have the uh, JPG, sorry, PNG file for the fans and place it. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And if you're using Photoshop 2018 or older version, hold your shift key when you do it so it doesn't go out of, sorry, it doesn't lose the proportion. And also I need to squeeze it a little bit. So on this version, I'm gonna hold my shift key and squeeze it down a little bit. Uh, in older version, you won't need to do it. You can also use your arrow key to move it around and I think this looks decent and then you can confirm it. 
Now I'm gonna crop out the unnecessary area that I don't want. So get your crop tool and crop it out. Now the fence is a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna make it big. You can press Command T uh, and then again stretch it out a little bit. Fence is ready and the model is ready. Now let's do the masking. And to do that, you need to activate this mask. Make sure the mask is active and not the layer. So the mask is active. After that, get your brush tool. And in the brush, make sure you have black color. And in the opacity, it's 100. After that, right click here and make sure hardness is also all the way 100%. Make sure all of these things are correct. Then we can start erasing the portions that we don't need. So first of all, I'm gonna go and erase here, this eye. Now here's another trick you can do. You can click here, then hold your shift key and then click here. So it will erase it like that. Then again, hold your shift key and click here. Hold your shift key and click here. And this will make your job a little bit faster. So as you can see, now we can see through the fences, even though we had only single image. This is how you do it. And if you wanna bring it back, you can switch to white color and you can bring it back like this if you make any mistakes. Now I'm gonna remove some parts that I don't want. You can think about it and choose the boxes carefully. So as you can see, the main reason why you clicked on this video, that's over. But we need to fix few things so it looks actually good. So first of all, as you can see, this option, more blurry background, we're gonna use it. So first of all, I'm gonna right click and convert to smart object. After that, we need to apply a blur. So you can go to filter and then you go to blur gallery and select fill blur. And if you have old version, it will be here, I think in blur. So go to blur gallery and select fill blur. Now in the field blur, I'm gonna keep it to like 30-40%. Uh, so it's like, you, we need to separate model from the background a uh, little more. That's it. So do it however, like however blur you need. Then you can adjust little bit things here. It doesn't have to be exact like me, just play around. So I think this looks decent to me and then you can hit OK. Now, because it's a smart object, if you want to do any changes, you can double click on the blur gallery here and then you can change whatever and hit OK. It's completely like redoable. Now to see the difference, this is more blurry background and this is the original one. Now this has prettier bokeh, no doubt, but this one looks a bit better for the effect. So uh, this is ready. Now let's do some color correction uh, and fix the fence. First of all, I don't need this red color. So activate your fence, then create new adjustment layer. And here you can go and select uh, hue saturation. And before you do any changes, turn on the clipping mask. So now whatever changes we do will only stay on the fence. So uh, first of all, go to your reds and I'm gonna remove the saturation from that. So I'm gonna keep it to minus 75 something. Then you go to your masters and here I'm gonna keep it like minus three, four to make it slightly darker. Uh, this looks nice. Now another thing, I want to make fence a little bit darker from the edge so it looks less flat because right now it's way too straight. So to fix that, I'm gonna create new blank layer and right click here and create clipping mask. So again, if I have a brush tool and I paint whatever, will only stay on the fence. So I'm gonna make my brush big using bracket keys. You can also right click and make it bigger, whatever you prefer and hardness 0%. Then I'm gonna make it super, super big like this and then paint around the edges. Then you can go and reduce the opacity. So I'm gonna keep it to like uh, 20, 30%. Whatever looks good, doesn't have to be exact like me. So uh, I think 25% uh, is a lot better. So color correction on the fence is done. Now we will do the color correction that will affect the entire photo. Uh, to do that, first of all, I'm gonna create new adjustment layer and here let's select the curves. In the curves, I'm gonna add a little bit contrast. So make it a little bit brighter from here, a little bit darker from here, so we have more contrast. And then let's fade out the shadows so it looks a lot more pleasing.
Okay, super cool. Now I'm gonna pop out this jacket a little bit because it's looking really good. So I'm gonna create new adjustment layer and this time get a selective color. In the selective color, first of all, go to your science and increase it all the way to the 100. Not very visible, but you can like make it a little bit brighter using your blacks. So reduce the blacks and it will uh, pop out more. Do the same with blues. Add lots of cyan in your blues like this and then reduce the black so it pops out more like this. So not a big difference but uh, important one. So as you can see check it before, check it after, looks more pleasing. And now for the final step I'm gonna create new adjustment layer and this time we get the vibrance. And I'm gonna add like 70-80% vibrance so the image is a lot more colorful. Uh, this looks nice and close it. So this is without the adjustments and this is with the adjustments. As you can see this looks so much better. So as you can see I did some changes in the blur and that's the beauty of this method. You can change absolutely anything in this effect without worrying too much at any time. So that's it and this is the final output. I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below. If you want to check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video you will get the updates. Till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop.